Installing rain gardens to reduce runoff. Slow it down, spread it out, soak it in. Simple rain gardens are generally three to six inch deep, saucer shaped depressions that are planted with moisture loving native plants. Shaping the land and planting rain gardens in shallow swales imitates nature by creating contours throughout the landscape, which allows rainwater to soak into the ground as nature intended. Rain gardens provide flood control, groundwater recharge, and water cooling benefits, while the plants, soil, and associated microorganisms remove many types of pollutants, such as excess nutrients and pesticides from stormwater runoff. First, assess your site to determine the best location for your rain garden. There is usually an existing drainage pattern, and it's generally best to go with the flow. Determine the direction of runoff and low spots where water collects by observing the flow of water during rainfall. If the low areas are away and downhill from your building foundation, they would be good places to locate rain gardens. Next, calculate your roof drainage area in order to size your rain garden. For this home, the two roof planes above. Visit rainscaping.org for calculators to help you determine the size of your rain garden. After deciding on the placement of your rain garden and before you dig in any area, be sure to call Miss Utility to locate any underground service lines or utilities that may be located where you intend to plant. Check the percolation of the soil in the area you have chosen for your rain garden. Dig a one foot deep test hole and fill it with water. If water remains in the test hole more than 24 hours, you may need to amend the soil or choose another location. Within a couple of hours, most of the water is soaked in, indicating a good location for a rain garden. Test the soil where you plan to install your rain garden. Extreme pH, presence of a clay layer, or other surprises may need to be corrected. Amend the soil only if necessary. Create a rain garden design by defining its shape and the type and placement of native plants and other features. For rain garden design guidelines, visit rainscaping.org. If you have permeable soil, as in this case, outline the area of the rain garden with non-toxic spray paint. Curvilinear forms look more natural. Plan ahead and prepare the site several days in advance of your planting date. Before planting your rain garden, you can use glyphosate or smother vegetation for at least a full growing season to kill turf grass and weeds. A technique for outlining your rain garden is to use heavy rope to define the rain garden area. After the initial marking, we decided to enlarge the rain garden to allow ample room for the trees and shrubs that will be planted. Wait a couple weeks in between each application of glyphosate to allow for the growth of unwanted vegetation. Once the rain garden is planted with native plants, you shouldn't need to use herbicides or fertilizer. Removing turf grass is a convenient way to start a rain garden since it will help create a three to six inch deep depression needed to collect the runoff. Many hands make light work, or at least lighter work, to move the heavy soil. Ricky checks the rain garden depth and the level of the grade. Soil has been excavated to a depth of just over six inches. Excess soil is used to shape a berm on the low side of the rain garden. Before the main planting day, Ricky planted the river birch trees which anchor each end of the rain garden. First, he had to loosen the root ball, which was root bound. The river birch is placed in the hole at the same level it was growing in the pot. After planting, water, water, water. Ricky waters the river birch trees and checks the level again by adding water to the rain garden. Notice the grade of the front yard and how the rain garden fits into it. The water from the hose has soaked in fairly quickly. A boomerang shaped rain garden. Site preparation has been completed. The two river birches have been planted and the shrubs are ready to be placed and planted. Design your rain garden with the end in mind. Visit rainscaping.org for design guidelines. The rain garden design. Here's the two-dimensional rain garden design. Between the river birches at each end are, from left to right, highbush blueberry, inkberry, and winterberry. You'll find extensive native plant information at rainscaping.org. Before planting, take time to place the shrubs in the rain garden, leaving enough room for each plant. A stone overflow area has been added to the berm in case the rain garden fills up and overflows. Firmly press or tamp the ground around the plants with your hands and feet to remove air pockets. Friends and neighbors planted the rain garden in just a couple hours. After planting, mulch was added to conserve water, suppress weeds, improve soil structure, and to lessen erosion. Not to mention, it makes an attractive top dressing. Don't forget, after planting, water, water, water. 
your rain garden will need additional water until the plants become established. Notably, it takes four days for the fastest breeding mosquito to reproduce, and that's under ideal conditions. It normally takes one to two weeks. Rain gardens do not breed mosquitoes. Install a rain garden sign and tell your neighbors. An option is to install a rain barrel to collect rainwater from your downspout. Connect a soaker hose to it and place the soaker hose in the rain garden. You'll have an automatic watering system. Metal clips can be used to keep the soaker hose in place. Six months later, it's fall and the rain garden continues to do its job. A rain garden oasis captures runoff from the lawn and the two roof planes above. Remember, when it rains, it drains. Reduce runoff, slow it down, spread it out, and soak it in. Anne Arundel County guidelines for rain garden installation can also be found at rainscaping.org.